yes, you know. Um, so it's actually special because of the stripes. Um, I got my black belt in 2012. So in jiu-jitsu, every three years we get a, we get a stripe. Um, and then my dad, we were actually talking about this this week, you know, how, how long have you been a black belt for? And I'm like, yeah, a long time, you know, since 2012. Um, I only had like two two stripes on my belt, you know, so I was a little bit overdue for a stripe, you know, but since I've been so focused on MMA, I hadn't gone back to Arizona of my dad's gym for a while, you know, and he surprised me with my <laughs> my third stripe. So um, my dad's a coral belt in jiu-jitsu, so it's um, very important for me to be um, representing jiu-jitsu always in my heart. I mean, people see us, you know, like we're superheroes, you know, and that all we do is fight and train all day, you know, maybe that we're like, I don't know, we're mean, you know, fighters are these, you know, but no, it's like we go through things all the time. We're regular people. Um, we just fight for a living, you know, but um, yeah, it was really, I mean, I didn't come here with the intention, you know, to say like, oh yeah, all my problems that I'm going through, but it was good for me to like just let it out there and for people to see like, yeah, we go through things like this and that, man, divorce, like child support, all these things, you know, like managers and people wanting all these things from you. It's like since I've been into the MMA world, you know, I've always had like people just wanting to pull me in all these different directions and I'm learning the sport too. You know, I come from jiu-jitsu, I don't come from MMA, you know, so I'm learning so much. I didn't really, I didn't really have a path, you know, so now um, to be able to let let everyone know you're like, yeah, I'm going through this, but I'm still here. And I had a great performance, I, I think. And yeah, it didn't stop me, you know? It's like, we can't let people stop us from going after our dreams. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I follow her on social media too and all this stuff. So I saw her, I think she did like a ADCC regional or something like that. So, I mean, I'm former ADCC champion. So for me, I'm always happy when I see the, you know, MMA girls and stuff doing jujitsu and things like that. Um, so yeah, definitely for sure to fight Rose is a priority of mine right now at this moment. And I think would be a great fight, a good uh, main event <laughs> um, and a good test for both of us. So. Um, when I see her training her jiu-jitsu, I'm like, yeah, it's not going to be an easy fight, but I think it could be a great fight for the public and for us. You know, because since we're getting stronger, you know, you don't want to get, you know, too much muscle and get the cardio not so good, but I think we're doing a good balance and getting ready to fight the champions. You know, I see Zhang Wei Li that, for me, then a big inspiration, the one of the best women's fight, Zhang Wei Li with Joanna, that they kept that pace for five rounds. That amazing fight so um, if I'm thinking that I want to be a show a show girl like that you know one day I know that I need to be able to to keep the paces for all rounds if I need to if I can't go to the ground or if I do go to the ground <laughs>